you could tell I got this Pikachu hat. Because it was so fire, it was great. Anyway, what is up everyone? I'm back with another video. And today, I wanted to do this video about something I have in mind and I have an idea for a while. Is I want to do a talk about nostalgic things that I still remember and it's always in my head. Like, when you, have you ever felt like you're, you're grown up now and then you're looking back thinking about the memories you had back in all those years, like nostalgic things, like I'm talking about nostalgic. So, like, remember toys, remember the trendy stuff, remember uh, girls into girly things and anything that was like the old days, like a little bit old school and stuff. We're going to be talking about the 2010s nostalgic that I remember. And when I'm talking about this, I bet you guys can relate to any of it, or you have something different that you remember as a kid or a very long time ago. Um, that was around 2010, so you can comment down below what you remember of nostalgia. I want to talk about nostalgia, so let's get into it. It is about the nostalgic things um, I have thoughts on. The first thing that came to my mind when I was a child around 2010, like a little small kid, is I remember Hello Kitty. And Hello Kitty is one of my favorites I like to think about. I even have like a Hello Kitty stuffed animal that comes like in my bed somewhere. It's, just, it's all piled up my stuffed animals. I remember when I was a child, it was like around 11 years ago, um, I think the year of 2011 if I'm right, or maybe 2010, I'm not pretty sure, it was like a pretty long time ago. I was like maybe in my kindergarten age, I'm thinking it was between 2011 or something like that, so I'm right. So when I was a kid, a uh, small kindergartner, I had this Hello Kitty bunny, my mom or dad gave it to me and it's from the old navy and after i had it maybe i was like five years old or something or maybe six already i remember the hell kitty bow just fell off um probably when i was walking at some place with my mom when i was like a little kid and now the bunny i think she's the bunny right now um, it's like in under condition already you see the bunny I still have this girl, like, if you'll see it in person, me holding this, you'll know how small it is, and to this day, I still sleep with it, um, I'm only 16, but I still sleep with stuffed animals, which, it's perfectly fine for me, it's just so comforting, to be honest, um, and my parents say that it looks homeless, like, look how big it is, like, every time, my mom would, like, want, would mention about washing this girl right here. <laughs> what I am saying, girl, is like, let me give you a fact. Hell Kitty is, it's a weird fact, which I wasn't sure of. Hell Kitty is not a, like a kitty or a cat. It, she's just a girl, you know? And then I was like, Mom, no, you know how hard for me to sleep without this? Like, this Hell Kitty helps me sleep better, but I did have a teddy bear that also helps me sleep better. If y'all remember my teddy bear, or if I haven't shown you the teddy bear, his name is Snooze, I had him till when I was 15. And whenever my mom washed it, it looked super clean, and then after I was done to be clean, it looked homeless again. HOMELESS! <laughs> and then, another thing I remember besides Hello Kitty is, uh, the toys. I remember Barbies. I used to watch Barbie. I have this brother. I have like a sibling and a brother who still watches Barbies and all that, even though it's for girls. But still, I didn't have a problem with him just like watching Barbies and all that. I think it was his thing, and then it was my thing as a kid. I remember I used to have toys and anything like that. And another one, besides Barbies, I remember when I was nine years old, I was into like Ever After High in third grade. And around Christmas 2014, I got a Raven doll because she was like my favorite character and I was like rebel side besides royal. Like, you know, ever after high, you gotta choose either your royal or rebel. I go for rebel because of Raven, who's that queen girl. Um, I didn't remember much of ever after high. I still, I 
still love that scene so much, you know. I don't remember if I still had that um, Raven doll or anything. I sh just like hate it back then. And lastly, let me tell you, I had these toys of collections of like My Little Pony as a kid. When I was in my mom's room before I had this room in it, I would put like my My Little Pony collection on top of this paper shelf that I remember. And anytime my brother is near my stuff or when he comes home from school, guess what? He bam knocked it out. I used to be super mad at that because of how much I organized it. I mean, you know I'm kind of an organized person. I would just like organize my My Little Pony toys. And I would like play them. And besides the My Little Pony, I would watch YouTube videos about like My Little Pony toys and like where um, girl YouTubers be like play with the and do like role play of with the My Little Pony toys. You know what I'm talking about? I see channels of it. I was just a kid, and I've always wanted to do this as a kid, like be a YouTuber, doing like with the toys and stuff. That's what I remember. I remember when I was like 10 years old. I started watching this channel. ruined this video, but I'm gonna keep going. Holy moly. Okay, I'm gonna keep going on here. When I was 10 years old, I remember I watched a channel called Super Mario World Game. In my 10 year old mind thinking it was super funny, and like, I remember when I was at school, my BFF of mine watched the same thing too, and we're like, we have so much in common, you know? I remember, Super Mario Logan is one of the funniest YouTube videos that I ever watched. <laughs> and then, I remember maybe 5th grade, I was like 11, that's when, I don't know what year it was. That's when uh, Jesse came along and he made me laugh even more, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> I remember, I still watched their YouTube videos back then. Um, I don't remember when, but it was probably during my sophomore year, or end of my sophomore year, of course. I remember I was nine years old, and my best friend might be the same age jersey, like my BFF of mine. Back in third grade, we would role play as characters and stuff, and during recess, we would like play the playgrounds and all of that together. And we would do like house, we would role play the Super Mario Logan, like the house, like playing house, you know, like you pretend to be your parents or with your other friends, you pretend you're kids and anything like that. I remember this is like core memory and I still love it so much, honestly. It's just so like, realistic, you know. For the girls out there who were like teenagers or young kids at the time, there were these two stores that I used to love shopping to around the ages of 11 and then I stopped shopping at maybe 16 I think at my age but it's pretty cool anyway um two stores that y'all young teen girls or tween girls really know about this is Claire's and Justice that was the vibe that was the vibe Claire's and Justice were like a girl's vibe like a girly girl vibe you know i was really into that i was in my girly girl phase right before right now i feel like i'm gonna um i before i changed at the age of 15 and then 16 i keep changing and i'm really into like being a tomboy right now i mean i remember claire's when i go to claire's at the age of 11 and the first thing i ever love to buy is like these flower headbands i still have them like in the boxes i didn't wear them but i still have them as like a collection i remember i was obsessed with flowers right before butterflies was my biggest obsession my biggest obsession <laughs> oh my god obsession i'm sorry and i would whenever i go to stores like different stores to see like more flower crowns i would convince my parents to buy me one because you know i'm a really flower crown fan I would wear them to school, like, I was in middle school at the time, I would still wear those, I thought it was pretty awesome, but then I realized that no kids ever wear that, but I was too brave to wear it, because, you know, I'm just a girly girl back then, and then in high school, 
I remember first year freshman, I still wore those until I stopped wearing it because I made a move to change myself into a different person and a different self that I used to be in the past. And then I was going on to dress fit. Dress fit was such a vibe. And around my age of 11 years old in 2017, I remember listening to Mackenzie Ziegler. Y'all remember Mackenzie Ziegler, right? She was 13 making that music video of Teamwork. I was jamming into that. That song was the best. It was the hit, you know. I remember practicing dance moves when I was 12 years old for a musically, and which we're gonna get into like that in a second. And then I found out, I don't remember when this happened, but around justice, it shut down probably due to pandemic or there's some any specific reason. And to this day, I still remember the stores, but I kind of shopped um, still at Claire's, but not justice because I kind of just shut down. But the products they had and everything they got from justice, it's pretty okay, you know. What I mentioned about the word musically, that was the thing. I remember I was 11 years old, wanting to be like musically famous, and I'd be like the musically kid, you know. And I tried my best being like musically. I was in like normal mode, old for the second. It was around like July 19, 2017. That's the date I remember. Five years ago, I started musically. Right before I got, um, before I blowed up on TikTok at 14 years old. And let me get my phone real quick. Okay, so I'm not talking about the phone that I was, um, like, I'm recording. I'm talking about the phone I had um, when I was 14. I'm just going to use an example. Like, I would be in normal mode, picking up songs, like, and then when I was 12 years old, I I have gotten better at Musical.ly, and I still have my Musical.ly posted on my Instagram, which people are like, oh, that is cute. Um, I don't feel embarrassed about that. I just feel proud that how, co how far I've come as a person and I was just having fun and I remember the word cringy people who use the word cringy is like cringy musically and then back in the days for musically people didn't feel ashamed of stuff there was no anything wrong involved something like that before all drama happened for right now uh, this world it's just a whole world of disaster but we got there so musically I remember I just be like, and then transformations, you know, and then bam, slow motion. Um, in my TikTok videos, I used to do musically recreates just to bring back memories, just to you know, like anyone who's an OG user know this musically songs or anything that's like sound like it was from musically, like speed up. You all remember um, Sunrise Music. Rip, rapid song, and other musically songs that you may have heard. It's like a night core, you know. It's it's just core memories for real. I have another thing in mind of musically, which is dub smash. I wasn't in dub smash, but I've heard of it when I was like in fifth grade. I used to be down with dub smash, but I didn't know how it worked. I thought it was like similar to musically. But then when I was fifteen to my age right now, I'm sixteen. Like I said million times i bring back the dub smash dances people love it one of my videos that i make dub smash videos got like blowed up into like thousands of likes and a lot of shares and it's two favorites because everyone in the dub smash community probably know this dance and i remember i had to remember like who made this dance and i would credit them because I like to do, like, credit the dancers and the creators who made that dance. And if I don't, that means I didn't, I don't know who made it or, um, I forgot who the creator made that dance. I mean, Dub Smash is honestly amazing, but suddenly it had to shut down this year and there's no Dub Smash on the app anymore. This was my dream, just like, oh my gosh, I had this dream when I was 15. And I remember going back to watch um, Power Rangers. I don't remember Power Rangers. Oh my god, that was so sad. Okay, right before I got there, I was 15. Um, that was the day I started watching Power Rangers again. But it was like the Megaforce one. You know, Megaforce. It was a, it was a good one as well. That was like my 
second favorite kind of Power Rangers, and which I'm going to get to the first one when I'm done talking. So Power Rangers Megaforce, I started watching this uh, when I was six or seven years old, and same to my brother. My brother used to have toys of Power Rangers Megaforce or the other Power Rangers toys as well. I would usually put his toys because I thought it was like the coolest. And like I remember he had that one toy. It was like Robo Knight. Is like the other toy. Back to what I'm saying. When I was 15, around it was around January 2021, I started watching Power Rangers Megaforce like again. I haven't watched that. I just had a feeling I just want to watch it for like memories of like thinking as a kid, like looking back at it, you know. Like, oh, come on. You also see the nails, kind of just the nails. And I used to have a crush. I used to have a crush on Mega Ranger, but all of a sudden he got feelings for that Yellow Ranger. Y'all know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about like Jake. I'm talking about Jake, you know? Uh, I forgot his last name. The Power Ranger characters had really nice names, but I forgot Jake's last name. Uh, I'm talking about the Black Ranger. And funny to me is, that's my dad's name. So, I'm not talking about my dad, I'm just talking about the one from Power Rangers Mega Force, which, if you guys are getting confused. So, Jake was my crush. And all of a sudden, when he got a, when he had feelings for Gia, that's her name, uh, Yellow Ranger, I remember as a kid, I just realized, I was like, hmm. And here's why. I used to be mad at them. I used to get so mad because Jake and Gia, because I thought they would be like dating and all that. Because I remember like, uh, one of the episodes, I forgot what it was, Gia gave Jake a kiss. And I got super mad at it as a kid. <laughs> it was so weird. Oh my god, it was so funny looking back how mad I was. Like, look at my face. I'm no, it was getting red. So, I used to be so mad that Jake and Gia were together and... I forgot their ship name. I think it's like Jakia. You know, Jake and Gia. All that. And I did, sh I did ship them um, at 15 <laughs> freshman year. It was so embarrassing. And I remember making an edit video with the song Come Through by Jeff Queen, and it fits so perfectly. I remember I was so embarrassed to post it and stuff, but I still have it on my Snapchat. Anyways, now we're going to talk about the Mega Force and the shipping, and they're my crush. I'm going to tell you my most favorite Power Rangers I've always watched, and I still watch it like right now. Like, oh my gosh, please. It is the Samurai. So, Power Ranger Samurai is one of my favorite first favorite and the most um that got the attention of, of Nickelodeon you know and one of the rangers I had a biggest crush on oh my god I don't know what to say this so I had a biggest crush on that ranger um I'm gonna give you a hint um he was green I was rooting and all that so I had a biggest crush on Mike um, and same thing happened, but I didn't get mad. I was just very, I was just very happy because Mike got feelings for Emily, and then Emily probably got feelings for Mike. Emily is the Yellow Ranger, of course. And when I saw the video of like the episode where it's like a final goodbye of the Rangers, like Mike started holding Emily's hand, and she was like, "Oh my god!" Like they're both holding hands, like. And then, and, like, the reaction of Antonia and Jaden was like, oh, they're dating and stuff, and then, like, everyone else, I'm like, oh, you know. I had the biggest crush on Mike from Power Ranger Samurai. Like, he was, let me tell you, he was mad fine. And when I looked up uh, how old he was back in, like, 2012 or, like, 2011, uh, I'm thinking he was, like, 20 or, like, 22 back in, like, 2011 or 12 because... Power Rangers started at 2011, and in 2012, it, like, started to end, so, I could tell Mike was mad fine, you know, even though I was, like, a kid, okay, it's not my fault that I had to look at the TV and see what, like, pay, like, my eyes be, like, focusing on the boy, oh my gosh, he was so, he was hot, honestly, 
She was hot. I mean, to be a hermit, she was cute though. But then, um, I remember Jaden, the Red Ranger. I didn't have a crush on him, but I think he was pretty cute at this. Cause. And then the whole squad, let me tell you, the whole squad was so cute, honestly. I don't know why. Like, the whole Power Rangers, like, Jaden, Mia, I mean, Kevin, Mike, and Samuel, like, the whole group of Power Rangers, uh, every time you watch them, I think it was the cutest, like, like a friendship squad, you know, like, pushing things, like, oh, oh my gosh. Um, that's what I was dying to talk about, is, like, Mike is the main reason why I still keep watching Power Rangers and that's not the end of the story. I was on Instagram, decided to stalk the only person is the is the man who played Mike, is Hector David Jr. Oh my gosh, when I look at it, I'm like But the person who played Mike had a wife and a child now, but I was still happy for them and let me tell you, when I was looking at um, the whole Power Rangers cast, the, the posts and stuff, except um, for Lauren, I only looked at Hector, like, most, like, focusly, and some of the others, I'm like, oh, holy moly, how did I miss the whole chapters of their lives? I was just a kid, and I didn't have Instagram at the time until I was starting at the age of, like, 11 years old. I missed the whole chapter. That's why, because it's not my fault I'm born in 2005, and why are y'all actors are born in the 1990s and stuff? Like, holy moly. I missed the whole chapter. I missed how Hector got a child. He got a, he got a boo thing, and like, and then I remember Erica, he got a, she got a, like, a hubby, and then Najee, I think that's his name, her, the one who played Kevin, he, he was, he was a glowing, and so was Hector. He was glowing as well. And for Jaden, I haven't heard from him because he hasn't posted anything on Instagram. And then for Emily, let me tell you about like Emily. But um, the one who played Emily is Brittany Sterling. She was so pretty, honestly. And also, I think that's why she's part of the LTV. And let me tell you, she's just she's also glowing too. She's like so beautiful. And also, I'm wearing her color, yellow. Oh my gosh, I even. They made me laugh, like Power Rangers family, they made me laugh, want me to make me want to scream at something in like some point. And like when there was Nylocks and everything, I remember as a child I would just start screaming and then to this day I would just like start screaming and like jumping out like you know, like the attacks and like moogers and everything. Oh my gosh, this is such a long Power Rangers talk because Mike is so fun. Like, oh my gosh, Mike is so fun. Where's my hat? Honestly, please. He's making me like, it's getting hot, you know. I'm fanning my Pikachu. Oh, because I got the Pikachu hat for my dad. Anyway, I also liked Pokemon when I was a kid. And then the last time I watched Pokemon, I was 11 years old. Or I was 11 when I, st I first started to become a Pokemon fan because I remember Ash Ketchum was my crush, like on Pokemon, and I was really into her. I'm like, like, you know, I remember Ash Ketchum was my little crush, and I forget the boy's name who ha who has a little sister close to like who's still growing down. That's what I remember. I think his name is Clement, if I'm right. The one in the blue jumpsuit and stuff. And, like, so I was like, I had, a, I had a crush on him. I even wrote a diary about him as a kid. <sighs> oh, wow. And then, I used to, like, get emotional Pokemon for some reason. And mainly, I love Pikachu so much, too. You know, all I hear what Pikachu would be saying, that would be, like, Mm, you know, <laughs> is a uh, Pikachu. <laughs> and then when I see Ash catching fish, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I mean, he's pretty, he's attractive though. 
all know this one channel and like it's a real cross for kids to watch it Nickelodeon I have a few Nickelodeon shows that are my favorite and ones that I know I want to talk about one of my favorite is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the 2012 one it was the OG the best show I've ever watched when I was a kid and a long time ago my brother watched the same thing growing up we love to be Ninja Turtles. My favorite character I remember is Leo and Donnie and Mikey and Nick. I remember Leo was my main favorite because he's like the main character. But I gotta tell you, I used to be having a crush on him. And Mikey, I always think how super funny he is. And Ralph makes him even more funnier. And then I remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, fast forward was my favorite. I also have another crush named Cody Jones, if you don't remember Cody Jones. Um, it was on a TV show of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, fast forward, it's like the future era that's happening in this show. And Cody Jones, the one who I'm talking about, is like my present crush, that's Casey Jones' grandson to be honest. As I said, the whole series is like a future ahead of like 2050s. It's like a future year and everything is going on, like cars flying, vehicles flying, and that show I'm talking about. I think it was released like 2003. But um, those are my two favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles TMNT favorite type. One from 2003 and one from 2012, which is a long time ago. When I was 12 years old, sitting around sixth grade. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 2012 just ended and I, let me tell you, I started crying because like, I missed that, I was rooting for that show. Another show I remember is Spongebob, I don't know, Spongebob is around like the 19 something. And then Sanjay and Craig, I used to watch it a little bit. Breadwinners, I love Breadwinners. Timmy Turner, The Loud House. Me and my BFF be rooting for the Loud House because, bro, Lincoln be having a lot of sisters and he be only boy. How is it possible for that one boy having some white hair like he's some old man or something when he's only like 11? It was like the, it was like the already beginning of me becoming a fifth grader when I started watching Loud House. And I remember my 11th birthday party, I've been wishing to have like a Loud House birthday theme, but instead, I remember crafting, I was crafting to like a red carpet made out of a shoebox, it added details like red carpet style, put the Loud House in it, like the celebrities. I think I have a picture of that, but my, one of my parents had the picture of me holding the Loud House uh, red carpet style. I was like a big Loud House fan. And then another one, uh, it was this one, I forgot what show it was, it was like a character named Jimmy, like the one with like the chocolate squirrel hair. <laughs> I call it chocolate squirrel because that's how I can describe his hair, looking like chocolate squirrel, like chocolate vanilla ice cream squirrel, please. Uh, what else? I had to think of another one. It's supposed to be something like... The, the shows are so nostalgic, I I remembered everything, but some of them, I'm trying to remember, it's like I, I completely forgot, but that doesn't mean stopping right there, I didn't like stop, but I did stop watching the shows, but I like, I'm gonna say this, I still remember, but I was trying to remember the rest, what, like what it was, and I can't even figure it out what it is. If there's any more Nickelodeon shows that you guys remembered watching them that I didn't mention, please comment down below for me. And besides Nickelodeon, there is Nick Jr. I have a favorite show of Nick Jr. Y'all wanna know what it is? It's called Max and Ruby. When I was six years old, my mom my mom told me this that I did something with my brother and we would just play like role play of I'm Ruby, the older sister, and my brother would be Max. I was like six years old, I would be calling my brother Max, Max, and then my brother would say Ruby, it was like such core memories, I love Max and Ruby, it related to me as like me as Ruby and my brother would be Max and then the rest of the friends would be like um, the people in the community that I lived, 
and make it just a normal town and have the whole town as many places. You know, Team Umizumi, I remember that. It's like such the best. And I never watched that show, but I just heard of it. Zack and Quack, I think that's the show name. Uh, there's one, I forgot what the show name is called. It's about like two little girls, like dressed as like genie, like in like genie style, something like that. It's in like Japanese style, like Japanese samurai, but I forgot what they're called. It's just like two little girls in like high ponytails. If you don't, if you know the show, like what I'm talking about, like again, just comment, please. I'm trying to remember any of the shows, like seriously. Oh, I have another one for Nickelodeon, Henry Danger, and like Game Shakers, and another. Um, I don't really remember. Honestly, let me be honest with you. The amount of fictional characters that I could have in a crush on a child, as a third child, let me be like, or like. I'm sorry for it, but that was kind of embarrassing. Um, I should probably feel and just be a chocolate. I have more things I want to talk about nostalgia, so here we go. I was so little, I started playing Play Doh. And my memory, I have this memory where whenever my brother plays with my Play Doh or when he mixes the colors, I don't know why. I got so mad at him for like mixing the colors of Play-Doh, I wanted to be like Sammy, you know? And Play-Doh is like childhood core memory, like you get to mold stuff and like play with it. And I heard that it's mainly used for like cleaning, like like back in the 90s or something. But right now, I still use space to like play with and I would, I do mix colors as well. And usually, I would use this as like making Play-Doh rings for my ring business as well. And it's pretty fun. Disney. I can't forget about Disney. I remember all the Disney shows and like uh, Disney princesses, everything like that. And I remember when I was at between fourth and fifth grade, I believe. And then I remember I stopped watching like the one when I was like 13. I'm talking about like Jesse. Oh my gosh, because of Cameron Boyd. And then Descendants. I was rooting for Descendants, y'all. I was rooting for Descendants. And I had a big crush on Carlos. And also, I was rooting for Mal and Ben being like together, like, you know, all of like the love. I'm just watching Descendants because, you know, Cameron Boyd. But. My condolences goes to the family because Cameron Boyce passed away like three years ago, so rest in peace. He would have been 23 if he was still here in this world. <sighs> That's why I stopped watching Descendants because we don't feel like the same thing without Cameron Boyce, so I have respect to um, the Boyce family's loss of their son, Cameron, so rest in peace to my mom. I think that's all the nostalgic things I have for today, unless I can do a part two if you guys want me to. There's other many nostalgic things that every kid has, and if you don't remember, and if you're still doing this stuff as a kid that you usually do from this year, please enjoy yourself. It's just memories, you know, and it's also very fun, even though you missed out what's going on around this um, amazing world, like everything was fine until now. It's completely something else and I like to be a little boring, but it's okay. I still get it. We're all growing up and we were just young kids at the time, like 2010s. If y'all are born in the 2000s and stuff, you know. If you have any nostalgic things you remember or if you'd like to share it with me, comment down below. I would love to read it and like um, thinking about it and everything. That's all I can say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Bye!